It's late December here in Houston, Texas. We've been having some warm weather and along with that, some very productive tomato plants. Check out the temperature. Almost 80, pretty humid. These are determinate tomatoes. Celebrity is the variety. Doing pretty good. Some wrapping on the vine. Those are all celebrity. And then there's a Floridade. That one looks like it's making a smaller tomato. A whole bunch of them. See them up in there. No one's ripened yet, but we'll see. Those taste. But what I really want to show is. The trellis tomatoes. I'm getting angled over there. These are the indeterminate, so they keep growing on forever basically. And then just pluck off the suckers in the corners. See, like there's another sucker trying to shoot out there, and you just chip it off. Oops. You hang it up, and then when it gets too long, you just uncoil this, drop it down, and then you lean it over. And you can do that all the way around. See these tomato plants, how they're leaning at the bottom. Pretty productive system, it's such a small space. It is a lot of work, but you know, I enjoy coming out here in the mornings and afternoons, spending a little bit of time in the garden. So it's fun. What the heck happened here? Gosh dang it. Well, dang. Let's take care of that. Shoot. It's alright, another sucker can shoot out here or here. We can continue on with that. But we do have a freeze coming. This is the main reason I want to make this video. This is the fall garden in Houston. We have not had a freeze yet, but we've had a couple predicted freezes. And uh, people say don't compost your tomatoes, but you know, here I am breaking the rules. <clears throat> but, uh, I definitely want to document this before, in case it does freeze. But, uh, let's look down at these cherry tomatoes. This is the Sweetie 100. No, sorry. These are Sweetie. Is that heirloom type? Ooh, that one's starting to crack. I'm going to go and grab it. Heirloom cherry. Quite delicious. Let's give it a try. got some like ribbing in the skin it's kind of pretty take a bite mm. Mm, super juicy super soft delicious well those are the tomatoes on the trellis walk back here oh yeah we're going on varieties okay so these are super sweet 100s they make a huge trellis or huge vine of big cherry tomatoes I think it might be a little better than the, the sweeties but I don't know let's give it a try more of a uniform shape and color. More like some would you see in, you know, a grocery store. Skin's a little tougher, but the inside's super juicy. And then, oh, look what we got there. Mr. Caterpillar.
And then these are sun gold. Some of these have been splitting lately, randomly, but I think these are actually my favorite these yellow ones. They're kind of sweet. <clears throat> All right. Uh, there's some Cherokee purple back in there. It's not growing too well, though. Uh, it didn't get much light. This is my first time planting this area, and it turns out the sun kind of dips down in the winter, so it'll be way more productive in the summer. What we got here is a Brandywine Pink Heirloom. Looking forward to trying that. These are our first couple ripe ones. So exciting. First heirloom tomato I've ever grown. So exciting. Yeah, so I put this chain about as tall as I could reach. I, you know, be able to reach these hangers. Reach the. I'm gonna put it a little higher. That way I can put the hangers a little higher. But uh, yeah, that's how we did it. Super easy, super convenient. They do really well in the wind. I guess for that one that, except for that one that broke. But uh, then we got uh, these big beef. A big beef tomato and then better boy planted four to five varieties of each and there it is and it adds up to about 32 tomato plants minus a couple that you know weren't doing too well i tore out but uh spaced only one foot apart at the bottom which is really close but once you, once they get pretty tall, uh, you can space them out a lot more. So, you know, one foot spacing, it's, it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Yeah. Gotta love tomatoes.